my name is Erin and today I want to talk to you about how you can lose weight and how you can keep it off. There are two things that you need to do to lose weight and actually keep it off. One is you need to exercise. You need to do at least three days a week of high intensity cardio activity. That means you can run, jog, walk, ride a bike, you can go to your local gym and get involved with some of the cardio classes. I don't care what it is, but you need to do at least three days a week of 30 minutes cardio activity. Now when you're doing that cardio activity, you need to use something called the talk test. If you can carry on a full conversation, you're not working hard enough. If you can't talk at all, you're working too hard. So you need to be somewhere right in the middle. That's how you tell if you're working your heart the right way. The second thing you need to do is you need to weight train. You need to lift weights. I would suggest free weights or resistance band. You need to use heavy weights, slow reps. Now I know a lot of women are scared to lift heavy weights because they're afraid of getting bulky. Not going to happen. Okay? Heavy weights, slow reps is what got me into the, sh the best shape of my life. Okay? So your muscles actually get tighter and leaner as you lift heavy weights. So make sure you're doing that as well at least two days a week. Every four to six weeks, you need to change up your workout. Okay, so drastically change whatever cardio you're doing, change the way you're weightlifting, whatever it is, your body will start to hit, the, hit a plateau after four to six weeks. So at that point, you need to change your workout completely and do something different. The second part you need to lose weight is you need to work on your diet. And that doesn't mean what diet are you going to go on for the next month. It means your whole diet. It means what are you eating like your entire life. Because if you just go on a diet and you go back off of your diet, you're going to put the weight back on. Okay, so you need to revamp how you look at food and how you eat completely. Number one rule, get a journal. Write down everything you eat. When you're making dinner, when you're making the kids lunch, whatever it is you're doing, every little piece that you pop in your mouth, you need to write it down. Because we're so easy to forget and then we wonder how we put on all this extra weight. Okay, so you need to get a journal and write down everything that you eat. Another thing about losing weight is that you have to eat to lose. If you do not eat, your body will go into a starvation mode and actually hold on to the fat that you have because it's afraid it's not going to be replenished. So you must eat to lose weight. Second of all, you need to make sure you're not eating too much. So I'm going to put some websites up that can talk to you about calorie counting, Make sure you know what you're eating. You can input that stuff to get an idea of where you should be at calorie-wise. Third, you need to eat six small meals a day. I'm sure you've heard that before, but you need to eat every three hours. And you need to eat good foods. You need to eat proteins, good carbs. Um, you can try low-fat, no-fat cheese, cottage cheese, string cheese, anything in the cheese area is good. Um, yogurt is good. Nuts, almonds. Um, if you like protein bars or protein shakes, you can try those as well. Fresh fruit, fresh, fresh vegetables, all those are perfect foods for you to be eating. So go and, you know, check out some of those things that you might like. You also need to know that weight loss takes time. And it takes discipline and it takes commitment. Okay, this is a hard thing to do. It took time for you to put the weight on, it's going to take time for you to take it off. In fact, it's best for you to only lose one to two pounds per week. Okay, you take it off slow, you're most likely to keep it off. Also, only weigh yourself once a week. If you weigh yourself daily, you're going to get frustrated because your body weight will fluctuate. Okay, so you have to give yourself some time. So only weigh yourself once a week. Also, take measurements. Sometimes it's hard for you to see you know, the differences that you've made, but measure your arms, measure your chest, measure your, your belly, your thighs. So every 30 days, check your measurements again. You should notice also that your clothes start to fit better. That's another good indication that your body is changing. I hope you got some good information to help get you started on your weight loss plan. I am here if you need an accountability partner. I'll put my email address up at the bottom. Please email me and you and I can help keep each other accountable and hopefully I can help you in your weight loss journey. Have a great day and good luck.